What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm just sitting on the porch enjoying some coffee. Thought I'd turn the camera on today and let you guys tag along with me while I do small things around the house. So I'm gonna finish up my coffee and then we'll get started. So before we go inside, I'm gonna fill up my little water canteen and I'm just gonna give my plants outside on my deck some water. It hasn't rained much here and the humidity has been crazy hot. So they can definitely use a drink. And a lot of the plants hanging around my deck are covered up by the roof. So I have to water those anyways. So once we get those all watered, we'll make our way inside. And then we're just going to do a few odds and ends around the house. Okay guys, so I caught myself slipping. I ended up laying in bed watching a TV show for about 20 minutes. I finally turn the TV off and start making my bed up. That way I'm not tempted to get back in it and just snuggle all day. So I'm just going to get the bed made. And then I vacuumed real quick off of camera. And then of course, since the room was clean, I went ahead and lit a candle. This is It's Time for Spring Cleaning. And it's from Cozy Me Candle. And then I also plugged in a wallflower. And now I'm finally tackling all of the clothes that were in the dryer. To be honest with you guys, these clothes have been in the dryer since yesterday. I absolutely hate doing laundry. There's nothing about it that I really like. I do like shopping for laundry detergent and dryer sheets only because of the smell. But that's about it. I always slack with laundry. I feel like no matter how many loads a day I do, laundry's never really done. So I went ahead and poured me some coffee and I'm just gonna sip on that and listen to the TV for background noise and just knock this out so I can be done with it for the rest of the day. Well, down in the comment section, guys, let me know what's your least favorite chore around the house without a doubt mine's laundry so now that i'm done finally folding everything up I'm just going to take it individually into each room it belongs in and put it away. And then we'll move on to tidying up the living room for the day. So I'm just going to tidy up the couch a little bit. I do need to change these throws out and put clean ones on there. But I do plan on giving the dogs a bath later on today. So I'm just gonna keep these on until after their baths and then I'll change them out once they're clean. And then I got out my Glade carpet powder and I'm just going to give my area rug a good sweeping before I start sweeping the floor with the broom. So now I got my broom out and I'm just going to give the floors a quick sweeping. I did sweep them last night before bed, so there's not much on the floors, but still there's always pet hair to be swept up. And I'm not going to be swiffering right after sweeping the floors up. I do plan on swiffering the floors later on after the animals have had their baths. And you guys already know I never go a day without wiping down all of the glass in my house. So I'm just going to start with the door 
and then I moved on to my windows. Harmony likes to stand on the deck and peek through the windows, so these always need cleaning. And then once I got done with the windows, I did wipe off the fireplace and my glass end table off of camera. Today's plan wasn't to deep clean, just tidy things up a bit. So after cleaning the windows, I did open one up so a breeze could come through. And of course, I went ahead and lit my vanilla candle that sits in the middle of my bar. And I also picked up some new melts. This is Thompson Candle Co. And it's pet friendly. This smells like fresh linen. And I did pick them up from Tractor Supply. Even though I'm not deep cleaning today, I still want my house to smell like I did. And like always, I'm just bleaching my countertops. I've got some bleach diluted with water in this spray bottle. And I wipe my countertops down every single day because I do have pets. So now that the countertops are done, I've got a little project that I want to move on to. So I recently went to an inside flea market and I found these really pretty vases. And even though they were gold, that didn't stop me from buying them. I picked up some spray paint and I'm just going to give them a fresh new coat of paint so that they match all the decor and colors in my home. So that's what I'm doing right now. It only took one coat to fully cover up all of the gold. So I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put them yet. But I liked them because of the design. It matched my glass coffee table so perfectly. So I just had to bring them home with me. At this point, my finger felt like it was going to fall off. So after letting them set outside for a little bit so that they can completely dry, I went ahead and took them inside and I just got the big glass vases that sit down inside of those. I'm going to give them a really good washing because they were pretty dirty. They had a lot of dust on them and a lot of fingerprints. So I just got some warm water and some Dawn dish soap and a rag and I'm just going to clean them right up. So I only ended up cleaning one vase on camera and then I cleaned the other one off of camera only because it was impossible trying to hold the camera and record myself cleaning the vase with one hand. But after I rinsed them off, I did dry them off with a towel. So now that they're both dry, I've got these little decor marbles. They're not really marbles because they're not round, they're kind of flat, but I'm just gonna pick out all of the clear ones and I'm going to put as many as I can inside the vases and then put the candles in there so the candles don't move around in there. The marbles stop them. And then I just placed one in the middle of my coffee table. And now moving on to my daughter's room. I don't really have to do much in here. She keeps it clean for the most part because she's always outside playing. But I do have a little mess here on her bed. I'm just gonna put everything back into this basket. And then I'm gonna focus on her rug today since there's not much more to do in here. I went ahead and vacuumed the rug really good. And then I got out this OxyClean. I know people use this in their laundry, but I like to put it in my carpet cleaner. And that's what we're gonna be doing. After vacuuming her carpets, I went ahead and put some warm water in here and then two scoops of the OxyClean. 
And now I'm just cleaning up her carpets. Her room and my room are the only carpets left in my mobile home. And I don't clean them as much as I should only because it's not really good for them. So it's been about three months since I last cleaned these up. So they really did need it today. And now that I got her carpets cleaned up, you can't really see how clean they actually are since her room is painted pink. The camera wants to pick up a yellow and orange tone in here. So I just put everything back how it was. She did get new curtains and I also painted and hung these little shelves in her room. And now I'm just going to go in with this once upon a time spray from Cozy Me Candles and I'm gonna give her room a good spraying. So like I mentioned earlier in my video, today I plan on giving my dogs a bath. I try to give my dogs a bath once a month only because I don't wanna dry their skin out and they're inside dogs. They only go out to play for a little bit and to use the bathroom. I also wash them because they do get on my furniture, as you guys have seen in my other videos. And they're so easy to give baths to, only because I've been giving them baths since they were about three months old, and now they're both 10 years old. So they already know the routine. I've had them for a very long time, since they were three weeks old, their mother stopped feeding them, and we bottle fed them. They come from the same litter, and they are both sisters. So right now I'm washing Ryder. I didn't end up recording me washing Sadie, only because my battery on my camera was going dead. So I threw that on the charger after getting Ryder out of the bath. And then I let that charge up while I gave Sadie a bath. And now I'm just cleaning her ears out with a warm washer rag. And then I wash off all of the dog shampoo after letting it set for a little while. And then once she's done, I'll dry her off with the towel. I don't blow dry her because I don't want to dry her skin out. And then I'll put her on the porch and just let her finish air drying. And now I've got to move on to the next dog. So this is pretty much what they looked like for the rest of the day after their baths. They were just so relaxed. Okay, guys, let me get you all set up. Okay, so I just now picked up my camera and went to edit the video that I recorded for you guys today. And I realized that I didn't film an outro to the video. So that's what I'm doing right now. After giving the dogs a bath, I scrubbed the bathroom down and then I myself took a bath. And then after that, I just chilled out on the couch for the rest of the day. So now it's 10 o'clock at night. So I wanna thank everybody for watching today's video. It's kind of all over the place. But if you like videos like this, let me know down in the comment section. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button to become part of my YouTube family. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye!